Alright, let's jump right into this today. No need cheat engine. So, while you have the game up, pull up cheat engine. And uh, you're gonna need a cheat table. The link to the cheat table is down in the description. Alright, so this is the teams and arenas cheat table. Once you open it up, some will pop up. Don't worry about that. Alright, so if we click arenas here in cheat table, you see the tables expand. So if I click teams, you'll see the tables expand. So we're going to use the Grizzlies. So if I, um, like if I want to change the name Grizzlies, I'm just going to change it to Bears. And the change will show immediately in game. Let me show you. We're now the Memphis Bears. All right. So again, this the link to this is in the description. All right. So as you can see, all the teams. I'm just scrolling. It has a bunch of teams. Even teams that are hidden. So. It even has expansion slots. So I just want you to see this. Most of you guys will never use this. But for roster makers, this is huge. Roster makers on PC, you have the biggest advantage. All right. Let's get back to the Grizzlies. Well, the Bears now. As you can see, if I click where it says team name, I can actually change some things. I can change the city. So I'm going to change the city to something else. Let's see, Nashville. No. I'll change it to Jackson. No, I was going to do Vegas, but no, I'll, I'll do Jackson. Click OK. As you see in game, it immediately changes. You can change other things. So basically, you don't have to go into my league anymore just to update team info. This is big if you're trying to make a high school, college, WNBA, any type of custom roster. This will help you. This tutorial is mostly for roster makers. We need more roster makers on PC. We have the best platform to come out with the best rosters. Let's do it. All right, so when we go to the arenas tab, as you can see, you can change the city name of uh, the location of the arena. So let's change that. The F008 represents the floor ID. I'm just gonna leave that the same. Let's change the stadium. So for the stadium, the first thing I'm gonna do I know a couple of um, stadium IDs. I'm going to use S912, which is the um, playground. That's the playground environment. Let's use that. Um, they were just, I mean, right now I'm going to 2KU using these. I haven't loaded any roster. All I did was load the game, pull up cheat engine. As you can see here, I am in the playground. Now this particular, you can't actually use this one. Um, you can look at it, it's cool to look at. You can't actually use this one because the players get stuck right there in that spot. So let's get out of here. Let's get back over to the main screen. And I'm gonna show you guys something uh, let's see. So over on NLSC, I created a thread. The thread is under the 2K18 tutorials and FAQs frequently asked questions section. And the thread is called resource list for NBA 2K18 files. So I'm going to click on that. Basically, this just tells you all the files that are in the base game. Well, not all the files, but a lot of the important files for modders and roster makers. So basically, if you want to know what you can change values to, this list will be important for that. Because you can only change the values to files that are actually in the game. 
Alright, so I'm just scrolling down to see what else is here, but alright, let me find another stadium. So like all of these here are for the stadiums. I am going to use S727. So let's get back to the game. Go to 2KU freestyle. Still showing Jackson Bears. So let's pull up Cheat Engine and change it from S912 to S727. Now I don't remember what what stadium this is, but let's find out. Alright, so let's load into it. And okay, it's the Gatorade practice facility. Alright. So yeah, basically if I wanted to save the stadium, I would just you know find a way go save the roster and then every time I load up the roster it would always use this gym. But basically this tutorial is just to show you how to you know change or assign gyms. You can use it just for play now or if you're creating a college roster or historical roster you can rename the stadiums rename the teams all of that good stuff that is what this tutorial is for the link to the cheat engine table is down in the description um, just remember the table will have to be updated every time they patch the game so for you, those of you who don't know you should probably back up your NBA 2K18 EXE file or, um, you know, this cheat table will likely be updated after each patch so that it works correctly. But if it does stop working on you after a patch, that's normal. But if you back up your EXE, you could always use this with uh, the EXE that came after the third patch. I'm out, guys.